Welcome to this edition of Inside America's Boardrooms. I'm TK Kerstetter, your host for today's show, and also the co-founder and editor-at-large of Corporate Board Member Magazine. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the show. Um, don't let this jacket, um, you don't have to adjust your computer screen or your phone. Um, this jacket may appear that it's moving, but since we're in California, <laughs> We're here at the Diligence Director's Experience in Napa Valley. I figured that I had to be California as long as we're going to be here. So Diligence uh, yeah, Director Experience brings together um, directors from all walks of industries um, coming together to learn from each other and find out how they can have a, be a more effective director or a more effective board. So we have a great show for you today. And we're going to be talking about how corporate boards can help companies achieve an innovative culture. And I have the perfect guest today to talk about an innovative culture. Please welcome Claudia Van Muntz, who's a director with Best Buy and CoreLogic. Welcome, Claudia. Thank you, TK. So your background includes a mountain of venture capital experience, IBM Venture Capital Group, New Enterprise Associates, one of the largest and most active capital venture firms in the world, on the board of the Natural Venture Capital Association, the Global Corporate Venturing Leadership Society, and that's just U.S. We, that, that doesn't include the international. So, first of all, as, as it relates to you, talk about how this ca venture capital experience sort of made you a unique and valuable director to the boards that you serve on. Oh, thank you, TK, for having me. Um, I do think it's a very unique value, and not just venture capital, because my experience was in corporate venture capital. What that meant was I sat inside a very large corporation, in case of IBM, operating 173 countries, across 17 industry, and for IBM to foster innovation, I had a role to do the hunting and gathering of venture-backed startups that has the bleeding edge technologies that can help us serve our customer. I mean, that process is actually something that most of the corporation today can benefit from because to be, to be able to respond to the pace of change in this era of digitalization, uh, changing of consumer social paradigms, the company needs to be not just internally focused, but our focus to look for the bleeding edge disruptors that can truly be collaborators and help them achieve their innovation agenda to drive the strategy. And that skill to be able to make the large corporation and the small venture back company align with each other and collaborate is really a, a, a fantastic experience I think I can bring to the board because it's not just the knowledge about the technology and the business model, it's also you know, these are very different companies. You know, this is not David and Goliath that people talk about because nobody is trying to kill anybody here, right? I mean, the, the best outcome is really, truly a win-win outcome where the large corporation get to leverage the disruptors to deliver innovative solution and the disruptive startup get to leverage that incredible channel to market capability, the customer install base. So my role in my, as a board member is truly to sit there and challenge and ask questions about the disruptions that are taking place in the venture community. A lot of time we're in a strategy discussion, I'm always the one that say, hey, have you seen the XYZ startup and they're doing XYZ things that at the very least, we need to be aware of it. And at the best, we might even deploy through acquisition, partnership. And I feel that is something that large corporation, corporation in general, um, can really leverage in order to accelerate their own strategy for growth. We want to talk about innovation. And we both know that for a company to continue to grow and you know, yes, there's digital transformation, whatever, but to really 
have to be innovative within your scope or yes. find a path yes. to be innovative. So yes. what is the board's role in making sure that a company has that innovative bent or culture, if mm -hmm. you will? I think it's twofold. I think the board has the, uh, the, the, the responsibility to really help the company and the management team to feel that they are being supported to take more risk. In risk without risk and without the, the acceptance of potential failure, you just cannot innovate. I personally feel the failure to innovate by and large, it's not because we don't have the talent or you don't have the skill base. It's really the culture of being afraid to fail that prevent company to really leave from where they are to where they need to be. So as a board, to really support the company in taking more risks in collaborating, taking more risks in pilots and new ventures and potentially acquisition strategy, that really is a culture that will enable a lot more innovation. And that is a culture that has an acceptance level for potential failure. Because everything is iterating so fast. If you literally sit there and trying to define that strategy on paper without start doing something, that really gather the information from the market, from the customer to allow you to iterate, to get to that right product market fit, chances are you're unable to get there. So I think the board to feel you know, more encouraging to, for the company to take on more risks when they are thinking about their growth strategy, when they're thinking about their gaps, and their white spaces, when they're thinking about venture back startup, how can you not look at, what was the last year, $87 billion invested? How can you not look at that level of capital being deployed to innovate and say, I don't really care. I don't need to know, I don't need to you know, synthesize what they're doing. I think the board has a unique role to allow that level of risk-taking attitude. Of course, you want to encapsulate whatever you're doing, so you're obviously not betting the, the house. But I think board has a unique position where you can encourage the management, ask the questions that will allow them to take more risk and allow them to leverage more collaborative way to innovate. So we have about a minute left, okay. so I'll need a quick <laughs> response. But I wanted to ask you, you also have international experience mm -hmm. in this space in addition to domestic. So do you see any difference in innovation from your international um, companies versus your U.S. companies, or are they both pretty much the same on where they are on that scale of innovation? I think they're, they're most relevant when these are innovations that are trying to address the local market needs. I think those are the innovation where the local community, the local ecosystem become more relevant. If you have a one size fits all, you don't really have a very unique to the local market, then the innovation is pretty agnostic about where the, you know, the source come from. But there's so many unique things about the different markets around the world. And that's why working with innovators from around the world to serve their local market can add so much more value. Well, Claudia, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to join you us. Bet. And I uh, appreciate you, uh, again, coming here and being our guest. My pleasure, TK. Thank you. And that will conclude this edition of Inside America's Boardrooms. We hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back again next week when we take another look at a critical topic that will help you be a better board member or committee member. So we'll see you then.